Hello and welcome to the Grand Casino in Barcelona, Spain for the PartyPoker.com World Heads Up Poker Championship 2005. 128 of the world's best poker players have paid their own way into this tournament. This is day two and already 32 of them have been eliminated. I'm Mike Carlson and yesterday we saw some of the big names of poker go through, including Barcelona's own Angel Blanco, the defending champion. He's through to the second round. So are big names like Dave, the Devilfish, Elliot, and Roy, the boy Brindley. It was a great day for Spain overall. All six Spaniards won their opening round matches. And a big day for Sweden as well. Four Swedish internet players have gone through to the next round. And speaking of the internet, the man they call exclusive, Noel Bochum from the Netherlands, he's through as well. But the day's most amazing result belonged to Dave Kalkloff, the man they call El Blondie. It took him just three hands to get through to round two. Now, if you don't know why that's an amazing result, my colleague Pete Singleton is here to explain that to you. This is heads up poker. It's the essence of sport, one on one, man against man. And Pete, that's what makes it so interesting. Yes. Heads up play, drama, excitement, and wham bam, thank you ma'am. And yesterday, didn't know Boken's style transfer well to live play. Cracking game against young Paul Zimler. Just shows the class of the internet players. If you're new to poker, the lowest hand is a high card, a king in this case. One pair beats a high card, two pair beat one pair. Three of a kind, also known as a set or trips, trip eights in this case, beat two pair. Five cards in numerical sequence, regardless of suit, is a straight. Five cards of the same suit is a flush, which beats a straight. A full house is three of a kind plus a pair. Four of a kind, four aces here, beats a full house. Five cards in numerical order in the same suit is a straight flush. Make that an ace-high straight flush, and it's a royal flush, the highest hand in poker. The game is No Limit Texas Hold'em. Each player is dealt two cards face down called their whole cards. There follows a round of betting, and then three community cards are dealt face up in the middle. That's called the flop. The flop is followed by a second round of betting. Then a fourth community card called the turn is also dealt face up. The turn is followed by a third round of betting. Then the final community card, the river. Each player uses his whole cards and the community cards to make his best five card poker hand. And remember, it's no limit, which means a player can go all in betting all his chips at any time. My name is Isabelle Mercier. My poker name is Isabelle No Mercy Mercier. I'm from Montreal. I played poker all my life, really, since I'm very young with my family. So that's really how it all started. And I've uh, always been very passionate with the cards. And I become poker manager in Paris in the Aviation Club. And uh, for the last 18 months, I have quit and I've been playing professionally. I just travel the world. My typical day is I uh, wake up in the afternoon whenever I wake up. So that's the good thing, first of all. I have no alarm clock. Then I order breakfast in my room and I eat, watch my email and uh, usually then there's a tournament after that so I get ready, make up, I listen to music, take a bath, then I go play a tournament. I hope it lasts as long as it can uh, all night. <laughs> 
I live by my dream. Uh, right now, my dream is to become the number one player in the world. Uh, being a woman in the poker world is uh, is a tough thing at first because uh, it can be intimidating to play with all the professionals and uh, everything. But uh, once you overcome that fear and uh, you become comfortable at the table, it's no longer an uh, obstacle and it might even be an advantage. And I know for sure that for me it's a good thing to be a woman today in the poker world. I see it by my results, uh, the way the players act against my move. I'm pretty intimidating. Uh, I'm not perfect yet and I'm still young at the game, so I'm getting better and better. It's good to see uh, myself play on TV, for example, because then I can watch myself from an objective point of view. Our first match here in day two of this tournament matches up the Englishman Steve Vladar, Smokin' Steve, they call him, against Isabel No Mercy Mercier from Montreal, Canada. And Isabel Mercier has won a big tournament this year in Monte Carlo. She also won the ladies uh, night, the WPT ladies night back in September, but she has never won a heads up game. No, um, I don't know too much about Isabel. I've watched her play, and she seems to have pretty much an aggressive style, so uh, it'd be interesting to see her facing off here against Steve Vladar. Suited connectors. On the button. Possibly raise, possibly call. I think she'll probably raise the mood she's in. It's just a matter of how much. Mm, she'll get responses. Small raise, double the big blind, and uh, Steve sitting with a king-queen. And he'll play this off the button. It's for certain. And comes back with a raise as well, makes it up to six. Yeah, he's trying to, he's trying to, he's trying to get a read on a hand. He's trying to define what sort of hand she's sitting there with. That's what he's done that one for. She hasn't let the cat out of the bag. That it's just a medium strength hand, but with potential. Well, she needs an inside straight draw yeah, now. Middle pin, but Steve's but got. Steve's hit the queen. You've got it. Top pair and a decent kicker with the king, isn't he? Now he'll have to make it expensive. And you see how the odds have just changed. Yeah, he was always favourite, always a good favourite in this hand, but uh, he'll need to protect it a little bit, and he'll know this. Let's just uh, leave the decision up to him, though. He's obviously checked it, hasn't he? We're looking at Isabel, and she's betting, so Steve's already checked. No, he's betting. Sorry, excuse me, we didn't see the bet there. He bet. Yeah, he she bet called. to protect it and she's called it. She's decided that 350 was a reasonable price to catch that 10. She caught half of it. And yeah. It doesn't help her. No, it doesn't help her at all, really, does it? Let's see what Steve does now, though. He's saying, OK, better put a bit more of the protection on. Well, it's just a matter of how much. He's calculated that that might just turn her off the hand now. Possibly release now and uh, forget the play, I would think, is probably the best option. There it and goes. she does. Well called. It, was, <laughs> it really wasn't a, it wasn't a dramatic call, that one. She's, uh, you know, I mean, he, play, he, he read it exactly right. He read the situation perfectly there, which is what we're saying is not much between either player. But the strength, in my opinion, even though the chips will, they probably do lie with him now. But uh, Steve's uh, judging the situation a little bit better. And they do indeed lie with Steve Vladar. That was our biggest pot so far. Steve Vladar took it. He now is the chip leader. And these are the chips themselves. The blues are 100, the pinks are 25, and the blinds are now 50 and 100. Jack Queen for his Amor Messier. Or Messier. Messier. Messier, okay. Monsieur. My French isn't... Uh, La belle dame sans merci. Mange to Rodney, for those <laughs> listening at home. They'll have a laugh at that one. Mange to Rodney. And Steve with the ace nine, as you saw, calls. Yeah, both these uh, nice heads up hands, aren't they? Both got some potential. Steve with a slight advantage card wise. Yeah. And that will get them queen. both involved, it certainly will. And there's two hearts there That's for Steve. That's exactly right, Mike. You've called it exact. Flush draw, ace flush draw, not just any flush draw for Steve. And top pair and a reasonable kicker for Isabel. 